you have overstayed your welcome. We can do it on our own. Those were the words of Burkina Faso's junta government to the French troops stationed at the borders. The West African countries severed ties with France and ordered their troops to leave within a month. Anti-French sentiment has grown in Burkina Faso, a former French colony, since Ibrahim Traore seized power in September last year. Traore has been more overtly open to working with other countries, notably Russia. Here's a report from Wagadougou. These protests are not new to Burkina Faso. They have been recurring for months. The call has been the same. Several hundred people demonstrated in Ouagadougou against the French presence and demanded the departure of its French ambassador to Burkina Faso. We don't want their help anymore. We want them to go back. We're tired of them. The French ambassador, we want him to go back. The soldiers in Camboinsen, we all want them to go back. Let them free Burkina. We have decided we want to lead this fight. The war we are currently waging, Burkina Faso has decided to lead the fight with good partners. And we feel that France is not the ideal partner to accompany us to the final victory. And now Burkina Faso's junta government ordered hundreds of French troops to depart the West African country within a month, adding the decision had been made to end the presence of France's military on Burkinabe soil. What we denounce today is the agreement that allows, of course, the French forces to be present in Burkina Faso. This is not about the end of diplomatic relations between Burkina Faso and France. The vision of the transition today, it is the Burkina Bay themselves who will make the sacrifice for the liberation of our territory, for the reconquest of the integrity of the territory, and especially for the refoundation. Days before the expulsion order, a French minister said her government would not stop supporting Burkina Faso in its fight against Islamist militants and wished to remain involved despite the growing anti-French sentiment and diplomatic tensions. We know the price that the Burkina Bay armed forces and the civilian population have been paying for years in the face of groups that have decided to turn the country from haven to a war zone. Relations between France and Burkina Faso, a former French colony, have deteriorated following two military coups that were partly spurred by the authorities' failure to protect civilians from jihadist attacks. France has some 400 special forces based in Burkina Faso to help government forces battle a violent Islamist insurgency that has spread across the central Sahel region from Mali over the past decade. Burkina Faso is facing another crisis, the unprecedented mass kidnapping. On January the 12th and 13th, armed men seized the women and their children while they were scouring the bush for fruit and leaves outside two villages in the Sahel region, Sum province. Security forces staged a rescue operation and found 27 adult women and 39 babies. Children and young girls in the adjacent Centre North province. Burkina Faso is one of several countries in West Africa battling a rampant insurgency with links to Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State. Bureau report, We On, World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.